So you just pushed your code and now you're waiting for reviews that will take ages to come around. But what if there was a way that your PR could actually review itself before your teammate even wakes up? I'm Hendrik, developer advocate with CodeRabbit. And today I'll walk you through how to get started with CodeRabbit, the fastest way to automate your code reviews and get instant feedback right away inside of your GitHub or wherever your code is stored. All right, let's get started. When you open a website, just click on the start free trial button. There's no credit card required. Next, connect your GitHub, GitLab, Bitbucket, or Azure DevOps. Now, authorize CodeRabbit so we can access your repositories. You can select your own username or your organization. Next, you have to install CodeRabbit on all of your repositories or just pick a single one. For this demo, for example, I'm just going to use a small test repo that I set up earlier. At this point, you can even let CodeRabbit instantly review any of your open pull requests. But we'll skip that step for now. And that's it. You're connected. Now, let's open a pull request and see CodeRabbit in action. For demonstration purposes, I've opened up a GitHub issue for a bug in one of my personal projects. I've already been preparing a branch with the necessary security fix, and now I'll just need to open up a pull request to merge it. Let's start by adding a short description of the fix into the PR. And finally, use this comment to link the corresponding issue so that CodeRabbit can use it as additional context. Now that the PR is open, CodeRabbit will automatically kickstart the review. While CodeRabbit will be running, you can already ask it to add some finishing touches to your PR, like for example, generating additional doc strings on functions that you might have left undocumented, or generating unit tests either inside your branch or in an additional PR. Okay, CodeRabbit has finished, and we can now see it augmented the PR with a short summary, followed by a walkthrough of the most important changes. We can also see CodeRabbit drew a sequence diagram to visually explain the logical changes we implemented in this PR. In the next section, it gives you a rough estimate on the complexity and time it will take to review the code changes, followed by a fun little poem that will summarize the pull request. Last section before the comments highlights the pre-merge checks that you can configure. For example, we can see how CodeRabbit compares my implementation to the requirements that were actually listed in the GitHub issue that I showed earlier. Now we can jump into the actual critique. Starting at the top, we can see CodeRabbit highlighted how many actionable comments it left for me. And a little below, we also find some more details on the review here. Just like a human reviewer, CodeRabbit adds inline comments, flagging bugs or security issues that you might have overlooked otherwise. Sometimes reviews can be off point. For example, when CodeRabbit is missing some context about the implementation. In this example, I purposefully blocked out the delete, update, and insert operations because I simply don't want users to execute these commands over the chat. A cool feature to use here is that I can just tell CodeRabbit about this and it will create a learning to remember my design choice for the next review. Lastly, for changes inside the diff range, you can directly apply committable suggestions right inside of GitHub with just a simple click. And that's it for now. I hope this helps you to get started and please leave any open questions inside the comments below.